Now, today's other main news, and a man who was a teenager at the time of PC Keith Blakelock's death has been charged with the officer's murder during riots in North London in 1985. Nicholas Jacobs will appear in court tomorrow. PC Blakelock was repeatedly stabbed on the Broadwater Farm estate as he tried to protect firefighters. Ben Chapman has our report. They were scenes that shocked the country and yet were quickly overshadowed. PC Keith Blakelock was a father of three. He was protecting firefighters trying to put out the flames. Under a hail of bottles and petrol bombs, he was set upon by a mob chanting, kill the pig. He was stabbed dozens of times. Richard Coombs was also attacked that night. He's waited for justice too long. You never forget an event like that. And you always hope that somebody will be brought to justice, but of course there is a long way to go. Um, there's a trial to be had, and until that's over and done with, it's difficult really to be over the moon. <laughs> he has been disappointed before. In 1987, three men were found guilty and jailed, but four years later their convictions were quashed amid allegations police records were fabricated. A decade ago the case was reopened, 14 people were later arrested, of whom just one has now been charged. But despite the controversies, Keith Blakelock's family say they're eternally grateful to this force and say they never gave up hope in finding justice. Nicholas Jacobs was just 16 at the time of the murder. He is now 44, but he will face magistrates tomorrow. He is charged with one of the most appalling acts of brutality ever inflicted on a police officer. After nearly 30 years, justice may have moved a step closer. Ben Chapman, ITV News.